welcome to its Rafi. in today's video i am going to discuss some extra questions of chapter 6 the chapter name is arrays in c here are first a uh, few fill in the blanks an array is a fixed size of sequence of elements that this data type the answer will be same data type number two the base of an array is referred by the name of the array the answer will be the base address of an array is referred by the name of the array. Number three, the first element of the array is in dice that is zero. Number four, which of this array element referred by ARR5 means ARR5 always remember array start from zero. So if we write ARR5 then we can access the sixth element. Always it is size plus one. Okay. If we call ARR5, that means we are actually calling the sixth element of the array. Which of these is a valid array declaration? Here int ARR5, here just normal bracket that is wrong. Float ARR5 inside square bracket, it's correct, and here in data type only size is mentioned so this one is also wrong number two is correct third is wrong because size should be written just after the array name not with the data type character array are always specified in it is single quotes and string array are specified in double quotes remember that given an array de declaration int a5 what type of data can be inserted inside the array? Here only integer type of data can be inserted. Number 9. What will be the output of the following program segment? Here see, we have an array int num equal 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. If, uh, and we are accessing the array from first element i equal 1, i equal less than equal to 5, i plus plus. So, when we are starting the index from 1, that means the first element will be skipped. So, we will get the output as 102, 103, 104 and 105. Write the syntax to declare an array. The syntax is first data type, then array name and within square bracket we will write the size. Number 10. What happened when an array is initialized with the number of values more than the size of the array? Means if we initialize more numbers, suppose I am giving the sizes 5 and I am initializing 7 or 8 values, then what will happen? You will get error from the compiler. What is an element of an array? Its data item of an array is called an element. What is array index? Its element of an array has specific memory location. This can be accessed by its relative location called as index or index. What is the last index of an array? The last index of an array is size of the array minus 1. If the array name is uh, size minus 1, if the uh, size of the array is 10, then the, last, then the last index will be 9. What is the base address of an array? The name of the array is referred as base address of an array. If the array name is num and in square bracket 10, then the base address of the array is num. How can you access the ant element of an array? We can access the ant element of an array by using n minus 1, where num is the name of the array. So we can write if num is the array means if the size of the array is 10 it will be 10 minus 1 so we will access the ninth index of the array what is the last character of an character array the last character of an character array is null character means in single quotation slash 0 that this is also called as a null character null character means the value is not defined what is the use of null character Null character indicates the end of the valid character of an array. What is the use of string.h header file? 
stream.h is dedicated header file that support many library functions for streams. Define gets and puts. The gets function is used to take string input from the keyboard and puts function is used to display the string. What is the use of strlen function? strlen function return the length of the string that is the number of character in the array. What are the limitation of an array? The limitation are fixed size. We cannot we can store only fixed number of elements inside an array. Homogeneous array, we can store only the same type of data inside an array. Contiguous storage, the element of an array is stored in contiguous memory location. That means it's one after another. We cannot keep random positions. What is an character array? An array containing a group of character is called character array. Or then the last one, write a C program to reverse and character array input by user. Means if the user enter welcome, it should display as E M O C L E W. So how we'll do this? To do this, uh, we need two header file include stdio.h then include string.h. After that, we will declare the variable character ch as an array and uh, here this is the data type of the array character and this is the name of the array ch and within square bracket we are giving maximum size the maximum capacity is 50 now we are taking two more integer variable int i and size i for index and size to uh, find out the length of the array then printf will send a message to the user that enter a word then we we'll, then we'll collect the input actually this is gets by using gets function we will collect the input gets inside the bracket ch after that we will find the size of the array means size equal strlen and within bracket ch ok after that to access the element of the array we will write this for loop i equals size minus 1 suppose i am writing welcome the size of the welcome is uh, 7 characters so it will be 7 minus 1 that means 6 and i greater than equal to 0 means it can go till 0 and each time i minus 1 at first time it will display the position of uh, 6 index then 5 index then 4 and till 0 it will continue and at inside the for loop we will display the value of percent is the its index means it will be like a e m o c l e w so this is the answer of question number 22 here these are few and uh, extra questions of chapter 6 if you have any more extra questions you can write in comment section surely i will help you thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye